The Funniest Night in Niagara takes place right here at the Greg Fruin Theater to support the Niagara Health Foundation to help fund dialysis care. We came back last year at this time of year because COVID made us have to wait. And this night, actually, I've had so many people say, this is a better night because you don't have to, most of us don't have to work tomorrow. Unless you're in the service industry or you're a priest. <laughs> and last time I checked, not too many priests in the audience. Now, Mark, if I want to go somewhere to laugh, aside from going to your basement, where can I go? Well, uh, if you went to my basement, you'd probably never come out. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Let's start again. What's that? Uh, you mean like Comedy for Kidneys? Well, I guess you would come here to the 16th Annual Comedy for Kidneys. But in as much as this interview will probably air after, you'll have to come next year. Awesome. Tell me who it supports. Comedy for Kidneys was developed to support dialysis patients in the Niagara Hospital System. So all the money we raise, all of it that we raise goes to the dialysis units to help them buy whatever it is they need at the time. Sometimes it's a uh, traveling dialysis machine, could be some testing equipment, it could be just something that makes the patients more comfortable in that three to five hours they spend tied to a chair three or four times a week. Many of you folks may not realize since this event started, they've raised over $125,000 for the hospital. And again, what a lot of folks don't realize is what we do as the foundation is we raise funds for the hospital equipment across Niagara Health that is not paid for by the government. This event specifically raises money for dialysis care. And last year alone, over 64,000 dialysis treatments across Niagara Health. Um, and every single ticket you folks have purchased and everything that these folks have done have helped make sure that equipment is there for, for folks. Uh, now, you have a personal connection with this. Will you share it? Yeah, I, uh, I was on dialysis myself for about four years until uh, the way they would put it technically, my clearances were too low. I was uh, developing, the, the poisons in my body were just getting too much. It wasn't working anymore. I had to have a transplant or within months, it could be critical. So uh, I know what it's like to be in that chair, scared just about every day. And uh, it's, it's not easy. So anything we can do that just makes that easier for people is really, really important. Now, Rodney Pent Pentland, this event is named after him. Um, we named it after Rodney. The, the first year or two, we actually did a benefit portion where we gave money to the Kidney Foundation, and Rodney was part of that. Uh, Rodney and I were both on dialysis. Rodney and I had similar kidney diseases, and unfortunately, Rodney passed away from his complications. And sometimes when we get a little emotional seeing Rodney again, uh, we forget some folks. So just want Angela and Gladys Penman here tonight, Rodney's sister and his mom. Give him a hand. Thank you so much for your support. Supermodel. I get to play all the, uh, the best places across the country. I stay in the best uh, motels. You know the kind of place where the lamp is nailed to the coffee table? You know those kind of places? Okay. Right. The lamp is nailed to the coffee table. Very classy. Chalk outline on the carpet. Am I being too picky? No. I fly the best airlines. I fly now I know you have something up your sleeve to start the show off. Can you share with us what you're going to start with? No. Absolutely not. Toronto's insane though. It's crazy. I, I lived in a basement apartment for a while. Do we have any cellar dwellers? Do we have any basement people? I don't know what you prefer to be called. But uh, yeah, I went crazy in there, man. Nuts. Cuckoo crazy. Six months, just crazy. You have no leverage when you live in a basement. Zero. Can't yell at the neighbors. Well, you can, and, <laughs> and they hear you, but you just sound trapped. <laughs> There were plenty of laughs here at the Greg Fruin Theater tonight. To support the Niagara Health Foundation, visit their website and make a donation. In Niagara Falls for The Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.